it's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. On my way to London this morning for the Great British Beer Festival. And this is my day. Starts off at 6.18 in the morning. Well, a little bit earlier than that because I had to get dressed and stuff. But yeah, um, so I go from here, Caddickson train station, to Cardiff. I'm then going to get on a bus to London, Paddington. Make my way from Paddington to Shepherd's Bush in, in London and then Great British Beer Festival trade days. So I've arrived in London. As always in London, there's lots of building work going on. Look at this. Right, so GBBF, we've got to find the staff and press entrance to get in for the day. Someone said it's down this way. Hope so. That poor building, blimey. Excuse me, mate. Great British Beer Festival, Olympia. Through there, is it? Yeah, over there. Thank you, mate. Cheers. Ah, oh, there we are. Press and entrance. <laughs> uh, right. Let's get in you then. Good morning. How are you? Hey, hey, hey. Well, no, I won't get that. There's, there's the guys. I'm here early. I'm here an hour early. Can I go in and press? Is that okay? You press. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. So we're in an hour early, and because they're still setting up, we've got to wear these high visits, which is really cool. But it's a really good chance to talk without loads of people being about and having a little look at um, what's going on. So have a look at this, this wonderful building. This is GBBF. I absolutely love this place. I haven't been for years, years and years and years. But here's a couple of good friends. Hello, hello. Craig from Kent Beer Reviews. Hello. Hello, hello. Mine's gone blank. Mine's gone Peter. blank. I've been, I've, been, I've, been, I've, been, I've been speaking to him all morning. <laughs> on, I've been speaking to him all morning on the bus, and now my mind's gone blank. Mark from Craft Beer Hub. Hello, hello. How you doing? How you doing? We're not we're not sight workers, are we today? How are you doing? You all right? And Thank you. loads of here, look. There's, there's, there's loads. Oh, and look, I was just saying loads are here and, and loads are actually here. Hey, you're all right. Here are. How are you doing? Here they are. How are you doing? Hello, you mate. The bus, uh, the bus pulled over for me. Good to see you. Are you all right? Yeah, good. Hello. Yeah, I'm not sunburned. Have you still, still coming out? It's the regular. It's just really lovely, you know? Really lovely. This is like. Just friends getting together, friends getting together, having a beer, having a laugh, and having fun. So what, what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to put my rucksack on my shoulder, and I'm going to walk you round. I'm going to walk you round. So we have, uh, let's start here. We've got a, let's start here. We've got a Ben Nevis bar. Cascale uh, from... Gloucestershire, Greater Glasgow, Klein Valley, Greater Manchester, Gwent, Hampshire, Hereford, Highland, Isle of Man, Isle of Wight, and Kent. This place is massive, absolutely massive. So then we got over here, we got Vale Brewery, we got Brew 61, Iron Pier, Fabulous Lords Brewing Company, and Lords have got the Stone Crow extra bitter. This is really cool. Uh, Dorkin Brewery, Osset Brewery, the fabulous Quantock Brewery, Five Points Brewing Company, uh, Bradfield Brewery, based in Sheffield, Black Storm, Bishop's Nick. Bedlam Brewery, Arkles, Anspach and Hob Date, Titanic Brewery. Right, carrying on. So you've got all these 
lovely balconies up here, but the architecture of the building is just absolutely fantastic. Look at this place. Beautiful light building to have a beer festival in. Uh, Adnam Southwold over here. Harvey's Brewery. I'm going to be visiting Harvey's Brewery later to have a drink. Um, I'm a real big fan of Harvey's. They have a Prince of something. It's an Imperial Stout. Prince of something. Imperial Stout. Hello, how are you doing? Tom Payne. Do you, have you got the Imperial stat on your really, really famous... Is it the Prince of something? Isn't it? Prince no, of, again, that was the Prince of Denmark. Prince of Denmark. Yeah, yeah. So this is the first time we've had this here since 2016. So. Oh, I'll come, and, um, I'll come and grab Miles when I get a chance and have a little video with him having a drink with that. You might remember about five years ago we did the... We did the Prince of Denmark, yeah. It's still up there, yeah, still on YouTube, it's still on YouTube. How are you? Are you okay? Brilliant, brilliant. I'm just going to do, I'm do, doing a quick tour before it all opens up, but yeah. Um, fine ales. Hello, how are you doing? You all right? Yeah. Uh, here's their beers from Fine Ales, looking absolutely terrific. Big fan of these guys, they do some fantastic beers. Uh, vocation, we all know vocation. We all know, I think. Uh, this gentleman, yeah. Um, Are you still here? Yeah. Hey, <laughs> Are you doing? You all right? Hey, don't mind me. Don't mind me filming on YouTube. What, what you got on today? What's it? What's uh, what's going on? Uh, we got a bunch of, bunch of our core beers. Uh, one of our specials, single hop citra, and then uh, four keg varieties: Death by Cherry, Sour Cherry, Sour IPA, Old Irish Stout, and then a double IPA. Fantastic! Oh, the double IPA. Be all over that later on. Yeah. I'm going to move on. Thank you. Siren Craft Brew. Uh, fantastic, fantastic brewery there, Siren. Uh, Wild Beer Company. Again, wonderful beer from Wild Beer. And then the Giants Causeway Bar. This is beers from Aberdeen, Grampian, Berkshire, Berkshire even. East Yorkshire, Essex, Gloucestershire, Bristol, Greater Manchester. Hampshire, Herefordshire, Lancashire, London, Merseyside, North Yorkshire, Northamptonshire, Northern Ireland, North West Wales and the Midlands. Oh, we got some merch over here, a bit of merchandise. Here's your food. Oh, let's do the food first, shall we? We got Simon's Sausage over here. That's a, that's a really appropriately named food place, isn't it, for, to try. So we got fresh pork scratchings here, the Krusty Pie Company. We got wine and cheese. Oh, look at this. This looks wonderful. Hello, how are you? You all right? I'm good, thank you. This looks fantastic. I'm sure I'll be over here in about three hours' time. We've got all artisan British cheeses here today. Artisan British cheeses. Look at these. Can I get close? Is that okay? Look at these. Wow. We've got Robert Schutzdorfer. We've got Yorkshire Pecorino. We've got Rachel's goat's cheese. Sparking her red Leicester. And oh. I've got Greek. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Oh, here's a pork scratchings. Wow, pies. Mr. Bombay Street Food, Indian Street Food. Hello, how are you? You all right? Fantastic. So, Indian Street Food today, then. Fantastic. And then we got Simon sausage here. Look at that. Freshly cooked sausages, all, all for Simon. Hi, guys, how are you doing? Hello, how are you? Love the name. Really good. My name, my name's Simon. Shawawi, <laughs> uh, uh, lamb, chicken, halloumi, falafel. Oh, there, there, this looks good. This looks very good as well. Right, now, we're going to run over to the merch. This is just hall one. This is just hall one. But as you just heard, there might be a lot of music on today. I don't know. And, and I think before, this is a great chance to get this YouTube video done and dusted before all the music kicks in and we can't hear ourselves speak and everybody wants to talk to us. So, nice glasses there, merch, beer t-shirts, that sort of thing. Hi guys, how you doing? All right. Tribute. 
Um, yeah, there's definitely going to be music today, I think. Handmade Cornish pasties. All right, I'm going to talk over the music now. So we've got Edinburgh Castle Bar. Uh, beers from Devon, Dorset, Dumfries, Galloway, Durham, East Essex, East Yorkshire, Edinburgh, Lothians, Essex and Glamorgan. There's a gin and wine bar. And we got Windsor Castle. I'm going to stop because of this music for a moment. Just found a really, really important person in the beer scene. Going to see if I can grab a quick chat with him. Hello, Roger. How are you doing? Do you mind being on YouTube? Is that okay? How are you? Good, eh? the, the, this, this, this lovely gentleman here is the founder of Camera, yeah? No. I thought it was a fa Oh, Seba. No. All right, okay, I'm making the right mess of this. <laughs> you were a founder of something. Um, the British Guild of Beer Writers. The British Guild of Beer Writers, that was it. I thought it was Camera, to be honest with you. But you were involved with Camera very early on. Oh, 76. 1976, fantastic. And still going strong. Really lovely to see Thank you here. Yeah? Enjoy your day. Thank you. Enjoy you. Thank, Thank you. you. Oh, fantastic, there we are. Well, I got that wrong, didn't I? I thought Roger Protz was the one of the founders of Camera, but he's been with them since 1976, so I imagine, you know, it's very early on anyway. Members of the public are now being allowed into the crowd area of the National Oh, there's somebody I want to grab hold of. Here's somebody I want to grab hold of. This is the one and only. I'm going to put this down for this. Rob Rainey, how are you doing, Rob? Right, you okay? Yep. You're right being filmed on YouTube? Yeah, you're okay, okay yeah. yeah. James, how you doing, James? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Nice Josh, you. how you doing, Josh? I've seen you got a great bar here this year. Fantastic, yeah. big, big bar on the end there. I just, yeah. yeah, what beers have you got on for today? Oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Titanium. Yeah. Um, obsessed with Idaho Plus Gem. Pheasant. Yep. And obsessed with Idaho Gem. Brilliant, absolutely fantastic, fantastic. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll join you with the bar. Is Cheryl here today? She's not. No. She's not here today? Oh. Right, okay, okay. Um, I'm gonna have a wonder, because I think there's gonna be loads of music here today. So I'm just, what I'm doing, I'm just doing a quick kind of run round of all the bars before yeah. the music kicks in. It knackers me otherwise, you know, <laughs> the music. It just demonetizes the video straight away. Yeah, yeah. You know, because of the, yeah. So um, I can go down that way, can't I? Is it that way or? Yeah, there's a staff door down there. And then there's another, there's another hall over yeah. there. Right, okay. Yeah. Well, I'll catch you later, guys. Yeah, Lovely to see you. Lovely yeah. to see you. Right. Uh, Wallstorp Manor Cider Bar. Oh, look at this. Sweets. Sweets. My, my kids would love this. My kids would absolutely love this. Hi, mate. How you doing? You all right? Right, now apparently, I bet, I bet I set alarms off now. Nope, an alarm didn't go off, thank goodness. Right, Maiden Nasal Zesnosti Bar, international bottles. Um, wow, 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 look at this. We have international beers from Denmark, Estonia, Finland, Latvia, Norway. Poland, Romania, Sweden, Sweden, New Zealand, New Zealand and UK. Hello, you okay for a quick chat? Is that okay? Yeah. On YouTube? Loads of different beers here from all around the world. Fantastic. Uh, Unbelievable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, you've got, well, you've got to warm them. Some of these are high percent, you know, the yeah yeah, yeah. Some 15%. absolutely i'm definitely going to come over here and try some different things and you've got the mad one that's tool implosion what's that one oh no i don't want that i'm going now you've 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 you <laughs> you've upset me <laughs> not alcoholic beer we don't want that do we we don't want that um right uh foot long sausage versus gourmet burgers um, Statue of Liberty Bar. Right, okay, here we go then. USA. Aeronaut, Airline, Ale Smith, Backbone, Boxing Bear, Break Rock. Load, look at all these American beers. All on keg as well. All on keg, absolutely wonderful. Yes, they are. One there called the Widowmaker, Widowmaker Brewing. 
Pivovar. Oh, this this will interest me. German. Oh yes. Oh yes. Germany, Germany, Czech Republic. I'll be all over that later on. Uh, we've got this uh, Binhofba. Uh, Belgium, Italy, Italy, Netherlands. Hello. Yeah, this this is fantastic, isn't it? Really fun. Do you mind being on YouTube? I... You're all right. No, okay. Some people, some people don't want to be on YouTube. It's, it's fine. No, it's fine. Um, oh, look at that little barrel in there. Center of the picture. Oh, we'll have a little bit of that. That's some kind of lovely barrel-aged beer, isn't it? And um, we got a fence here, which I'm going to try and um, maybe I can maybe I can squeeze through here. Maybe I can squeeze through this little gap here. Here we go. Hey. Right. Uh, pub games and prizes. I think this is the public entrance. I think this is where all the public are coming through. So when you walk through these doors then, yeah, this is the public entrance. So when you walk through the doors of GBBF, you will be greeted by this. This is what you'll be greeted by. Uh, VIP package. Uh, beer 52. Beer 52, let's go around and maybe have a chat with the guys from Beer 52. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have tried to squeeze through that gap. I had to put my glass away in bits and pieces. Never mind. Okay, Beer 52. Hi, guys. How are you doing? Beer 52. You okay for a quick chat? Yeah, let's go on YouTube. How are you doing? Yeah, very well. This is fantastic, isn't it? Absolutely. Oh, you, you've got the all sops beers in. We do, we do. There's two top rows of it because it's a... Could you show me a bottle on, in front of the camera? Amazing. Very I've been really interested in this, to yeah, be honest. Very, very nice. Um, yeah, we expect these to be quite popular. Quite popular, yeah. yeah I'm definitely going to buy myself a bottle of that and review that. Have a, have a, have a little go of that one. There's some um, really sure there's Northern Monk as well. Very, very nice. Um, a little couple of collaborations and things that we've yeah, done. Yeah, you got some Brew um, York there so as well. Yeah, Brew yeah. by Numbers. So, yeah, yeah. Fantastic, so, yeah. fantastic. Nice selection. Say hello nice to selection. James for me. It is James, the yeah, owner, James. isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah I know James. I know James as well, yeah. Lovely. Nice to meet you, Matt. Yeah, you all right? Yeah, man. Cheers. How you doing? I'm not too bad. I'm just having a quick walk around for just a quick YouTube video before it all kicks off. Before Class. Class. Well, yeah. Look, come back here and get yourself a beer later on, okay? I'll definitely grab one of them bottles. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah can I stick it in my bag? Is that all? Yeah. Or... We've got, we've got a slight thing where we've been told we can only give it 50 minutes. Ah, oh, right, okay. I'll come back. If you, if you come back. I'll leave my bag on the side there. Just whack one in there. Yeah, there we go. This is, this is how it's done on YouTube. This is how it's done, look. See? What you do, you just hand them your bag on the side and then they grab a little beer for you and they put it in the bag. Yeah, um, so they've got the Angel of the North Bar over there and the Carnarvon Castle Bar. There we go. Look at that. Job done. Thank you very much. No problem. Get a, Enjoy. Get a start. A thank one. you. Cheers. Thank you. That's the way to do it. You know, some of these people are absolutely fantastic. You know, people like Beer 52. I've been after that beer for such a long time. Really nice of him to give it to me. Uh, right, Angel of the North Bar. Uh, featuring Oxford, Rutland, Shropshire, Somerset, West Yorkshire, Staffordshire, Suffolk, Surrey, China Weir, Warwickshire, West Midlands, Sussex, West Sussex, West Yorkshire, Wiltshire and Wor Worcestershire. And then this looks like the Welsh Bar. Uh, Lancashire, Lincolnshire, Loch Lomond. Sterling and uh, Tross Ash. And London's on here. Merseyside, Mid Wales, North East Wales, North West Wales, Norfolk, North Yorkshire, Northamptonshire, Northern Ireland, Northern Isles, Cumberland, and Nottinghamshire. Fantastic. And there's the, here's the beers. So, this is what you can expect from GBBF. I mean, look at this just one bar alone. There's got to be about 50, 60, maybe even 100 beers on here. There's got to be. And this is just one bar. So I think we've covered the whole of GBBF. Um, for the moment, anyway. For the moment. Lovely. Boom. Cheers. So we're here with Pete from Harvey's. And I'm going for the Sussex Best Bitter. Now, the reason why I'm going for this, this is my first beer at Great, the Great British Beer Festival trade session on the Tuesday, is because I'm from South Wales, Barry in South Wales, and we never seem to see a beer down our way. And I've done the Prince of Denmark, which is a wonderful, wonderful beer. Thank you very much. And this is 90... 
this this beer is ninety percent of your sales then. Yeah, four percent. Four percent ABV. Yeah. Looks uh, brewed using a blend of four local hops, so we use um, all local hops from Sussex, Surrey, and Kent. Yep. Um, and Marisota malt from up in Norfolk. Um, Fantastic. So yeah, all local ingredients. The furthest we go for any of our ingredients is uh, is Norfolk for our malt. Um, so low food miles. We're yep. all, all about sustainability. Um, but yeah, like I said, our, our flagship beer. Um, and uh, yeah, really good session pale ale. Um, so four percent, easy drinking. Exactly. I love balance. these beers. I love. Can I can I quickly swap? And, yeah, uh, yeah, of course. To, uh, here we go. So we're filming. So here we go. Um, I'm gonna get the aroma on this beer. It looks lovely, chestnutty coloured beer. Ah, oh, just just classic. Great British best bitter. Bit, great British best bitters at their, at their best. Excuse the pun. Biscuity, malty, but there's a nice hop, hop character yeah. on the back end as well. Let's, uh, let's go. <laughs> fabulous, <laughs> absolutely fabulous beer, Stone the Crows. Been on a train and a bus in seven o'clock this morning. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> very dry mouth, but this is absolutely fantastic. It's like a berry, like a hot berry kind of. Marmalade, mm. like a marmalade flavour going on. Oh, that is fantastic. Glad I'm so enjoy pleased it. I grabbed this. <laughs> my first beer of the day. Harvey, Sussex Best Bitter. Um, been vlogging now for 13, 12, 13 years, and can't believe it's taken me this long to get around to it. But um, I'm glad it's, it was worth the wait. Stone the Crows, thanks. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. So, next up is the wonderful Siren Craft Fruit. Let's get into these now. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Hello, how are you doing? It's been a long time. Been a long time. Been a long time, yeah, good to see you, good to see you. Um, what do you recommend? I'd go for a half of the mento, which is our modern best bitter. Let's go with that, let's go with that, yeah. Let's go with that. yeah. Let's go with that. yeah. So is this a new beer for you? Fairly new, yeah. It's a new. Poor, poor kind of cast. Yeah. Uh, it's always, always available in cast. Yeah. 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 Wonderful. Uh, 3.8% ABV. What are the, I'm supposing, nice British hops in here? Traditional? All British, British hops. I can't remember off the top of my head, but. Completely uh, traditional. Uh, it looks fantastic. Version of a taste of a modern, modern version. Okay, right. Yeah. So if you if we spin round, there we go. Joe, you're gonna get a little sip yourself, or He's got oh, a... yeah, <laughs> come on, jump in. We're we'll, we'll doing a three-way, a three-way video. <laughs> lovely, well, it, it definitely looks like a lovely bass. Really, look that's traditional. Yeah, look at the conditioning. Really lovely conditioning. Beautiful Yeah, aroma. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Cheers, guys. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you very much. Let's dive in. Okay. That's that. Wonderful. So smooth. Absolutely wonderful. Mm. Can I be honest with you? Um, I am gravitating towards more of these... Um, just give it a bit. Gravitating towards these best business a lot more recently. Um, I'm just not really into these kind of mango, like passion fruit, concentrate beers. I just, and, and I just found, I, I don't know about yourself, I don't know if you think the same way, but um, I just gravitated towards best beers. I, I'm more traditional beers over the last few months. I love a bit of everything. I think you really depend on what you're doing. Yeah, yeah. And if you're going to be down a nice pub, we've got our own uh, little country club by the brewery. And just going down there and sit by the fire and just yeah, having three. Are you at Hampstead? Hampstead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Lovely, own, lovely spot. Home pub called the George Dragon. And, you know, lovely traditional fireside. Nice, you know, sausage and mash. Exactly. It's this, Couple isn't it? Couple of to this. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, I, I like a, you know, we've got, we've got a really intense kind of uh, hoppy Simcoe double IPA. Love that as well. Love that. But it's, you know, that's not the, you know, I wouldn't have a fine three of those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like I would with these. Yeah, I got a sense that 2022 is the year of like mild ESBs, modern bitters. 
seems to be having a little bit of a resurgence, doesn't it? Definitely. I mean, how do you feel about the last bit of the resurgence? Oh, I love it. Absolutely, I absolutely love this, this resurgence of cask. I've always been a massive fan of cask. Um, it, it's like, like you just mentioned there, it's like when you go on holiday, you, you always gravitate towards a traditional pub, don't you? And you always look, look at what cask scales have they got on. And you come across a pub that's probably got this on cask, it, it's enough to make you holiday, isn't it? If you're a beer fan, absolutely. knowing that you've got a great beer to try for the next week or so, absolutely. you know? Yeah, I think you talk about it with the with the ice cream concentrates. I hear it a lot on your channel. Yeah, I think that side of craft, craft is really what floats my boat. That side of craft's opened up, but I found myself pushing against that and going back more towards, like you say, yeah. your harder bitters, your low ABV pales, your British hop stuff. Yes, yeah. you know, I'd rather go there than this, you know, cherry shake IPA. Mango. <laughs> not, not. I, I like it when breweries do it with hops. Yeah. Where you get the mango and the passion fruit from yeah, hops. Yeah, yeah. But when they put it in like concentrates, I, I don't know where I sit. Well, I, I'm not a fan of it. I'm not a fan of it. It's too into the spectrum, isn't it? And actually, you know, if you're drinking something like that, yeah. then actually you want to balance it out by having a nice, really refreshing yeah. Absolutely. Like this. So Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Me, I kind of enjoy both of it, but this is, yeah, this is my pub. This is a pub there. Wonderful. Wonderful. Do you find, after the summer, and the viewers might as well. After the summer, when you're just absolutely crafted out, you've had, you know, all the fast food. Going back to a 3.8% bitter in the autumn, winter, and spring, it's yeah. perfect. Yeah, yeah this, is, this is really, really This nice. is lovely. That's, and that's it, you know, that's spot on. You know, for me, I would drink this all year, but this definitely feels more of like an autumn. Mm. You know, yeah. I, could, I would be drinking a lot of this in the autumn. In the autumn, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. On Sunday, right, it's kind of funny, we, we went swimming with my daughter and we were driving back and said to my wife, I just really fancy a ploughman's in a pub with a pint of bitter. Yeah. That sounds yeah. amazing. <laughs> I don't know why, but this is, this is where that, you know, absolutely perfect. Yeah, yeah. Proper winter, you know, winter warmer sort of thing, you know. Yeah, I'll be all over it right now. Oh, it's mate. Actually, it's kind of fancy just dropping off and having a should we go for a plow? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Come on. It's been really, really lovely for you joining me. Thank yeah, you thank very, you very much. much. Cheers, um, cheers, perhaps we can come back a little bit later on and try your double IPA. I'd love to. Yeah? That sounds amazing. We'll, 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 okay, we'll see you in a bit. Thanks cheers, for joining us. Cheers, cheers, bye. Cheers. What a lovely oh, what a chat. What a lovely guy. What a lovely guy. Uh, yeah, well, we drank together in. Um, we went to a hive uh, uh, beers. They, 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 they launched a pills and a lager in a really posh hotel in London about four years ago. We, we spent the afternoon together having, having a really good few beers and then he's a lovely chap he's a lovely chap and that's what I love about the beer industry is that it's filled with lovely people you know if you're here if you're here and you're into beer you're the same person so the exactly. conversations roll you're interested yeah. in the same thing well we had a chat about it on your channel which I mean check out Craft Beer Hub um, I've been on uh, Mark's channel yeah. because Mark's Beer Reviews um, <laughs> Was on his channel he'd done a little walk around video but we, we talk about this very thing so um just 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 friendly people all enjoying the same thing and and when it comes down to like what we do on youtube yeah it's an even more of an interest so i may not see mark for like three or four months and then all of a sudden when we do meet up it's like conversations never never awkward is it it's, it's just bang here we go How's it been? Talking about YouTube, talking about beers, and yeah, yeah. So where are we going next? Oh, where should we go? We've got the keg bar right here. Are we are we, are we ready for keg yet? Or are you sort of? I gotta, get some, I got, I got a I gotta get some tickets. I got I got some tickets. We gotta get some tickets. You pay, you go. You just trade, so pay at the bar. Oh, yeah. So. Right, we'll drink these and we'll come. This back. is lovely. Yeah, we'll come back. <laughs> right, next beer. I have a 5.9 percent Danish Putin's unsinkable malt. Yeah. It's by Vava Brew, 5.9% ABV. It's a Ukrainian golden ale by Lord's Brewing Company. And I want to say, I bought the Vava beers uh, a couple of months ago from uh, a well-known brewery chain in the UK. Bought this, these Ukrainian bad meat beers and they were terrific, absolutely terrific. But this, 5.9% ABV golden ale, Absolutely fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Oh. I'm going to jump in very quickly with the brewer of this beer, or the owner of this this, this beer. What, what a beer this is. Oh, you got this one? 
We've got the ESP. 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 I love the ESP. Coming from the US, it's a completely different beer than we get in the US. It's great. I could, take, I could take a six pack oh, back with me, I would. <laughs> so that, that's our collaboration with Lowe's Brewing Company with eight different malts. But I want to talk about this because this is terrific. Come on. Come and talk to me about this. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> this is John's wife, Lydia. How are you doing, Lydia? I'm good, thank you. Yeah. I'm not the person to ask about the beer. I'm not very good at... Um, don't worry, don't worry. The technical stuff. It's lovely though. It's lovely. That's the important thing. The Ukrainian beer, the Barbar Brew. A little bit of sweetness, a little bit of bitterness, nice balance, but very drinkable. Very, very drinkable beer. Love it, love it. You having a nice time? Yeah, yeah, it's really good. It's really cool. I've cool. just done my way to find a gin. And you can have a gin? Yeah. I like that, I like that. Enjoy it. It's a, it's a giant pub, drink what you want. Yeah. That's what I have I'm trying to get I, I feel like I, I feel like I feel like Martin Brundle waiting by the side of the track for something to come in. Like move by the well, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I do a Nigel Mansell one. Well uh, I was at the race and um, I won. <laughs> That's why like, that was Oh Kimmy Reagan and Kimmy Reagan did it. I want to talk to you about this beer. Yeah, go on. How did this beer come about? It's beautiful. Beautiful. So uh, it was Actually, through uh, another brewery, it was I think it was Beering, and they told us. Oh no, sorry, it was Beering and the Grove Pub. Right. Okay. So if you look at the pump clip, you see the Grove Pub on there. Okay. Those guys put us in touch with uh, one of the guys uh, from uh, the brewery, Martin, who uh, was a brewer. It, if you go to my channel, you can hear a podcast I interviewed him about how he escaped. It's Lord's Brewing Company. Yeah, Lord's Brewing Company. How he escaped uh, Ukraine and what was going on. He was there when it all got invaded, um, and and basically they they wanted to do um, they wanted Ukrainian golden ale to be a recognised style. Yeah. So they were collaborating with anybody that was uh, good on quality that wanted to make a, a, a golden ale. Um, so Jamie. Uh, from Osset Brewery, those guys did one, um, and I was like, well, if they're going with Osset, they're good enough for me. So we did one with, with them, and uh, so they were really interested in seeing the style of how we brew. So we underlet our mash tun, so it was like, Whoa, that's the weirdest thing I've ever seen. So we, we put the grain in and then lift the water from underneath. Right. Which is really unusual, but we do it because we haven't got a headroom in, in, right. our, in our space. Yeah. So anyway, we made the beer with them, um, and now, uh, I, think, I think it was only about three weeks ago, we got an email from Barba, uh, from their crew, saying, Ukrainian Golden Ale is now an official style. Yes! Yes! So that is like... like uh, IPA is a style. Yeah. Ukrainian golden ale is a style. Ukrainian golden ale. I want to talk to you about it. It's got a lovely balance between the sweetness of the malt and the bitterness of the hops. It's very drinkable, very refreshing. But you'd never know it was 5.9% ABV. It's really well done. It's really well done. Yeah, I mean, some people here have said that they could really taste the booze. But I think, actually, that's... I think that's more... The yeast and the, and the coriander yeah, is making yeah, it taste yeah, 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 definitely, definitely. Yeah. But it's, I will say, so it's not our recipe, it's Barbas. Um, we've got it as 5.9. It was meant to be 6.9 okay. on cask. What happened? I said I'd never sell any if it was 6.9. Oh, right. Okay. So we wound right. it down. Right. Okay. So it's gone down really well. People love it. And Money from this has gone to help. Wonderful. The Ukraine call. So, yeah. So, and we'll put that out there as well. We'll um, we'll put it up how much the uh, the brew raised, and we're also going to ask um, Barba if we can do it again. Amazing. Because it's really people are really taking to it. So yeah. Are you enjoying yourself? I am. I'm feeling a bit squishy already. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you know what it is? Do you know what it is? It's just. I like, so Brew London, I love, the vibe there 
is very inclusive. We couldn't do any filming. No, we couldn't really. So no. that's why we had a room. So with, with Brew London, it's very much it, it, it. It's very much. I'll be honest with you. Here, there's nowhere near as many women or other genders. Uh, at Brew London, you had everything. Everybody, anybody. It's all encompassing. Yeah. Where this is, I would say, is more the traditional, typical real ale drinker. Although I will say, this year compared to 2019, yeah, big difference. It's lovely. Much more, much more uh, across the board. But still, we've got some work to do. Work to do. Work to do. John, thank you very much. I really love this. Fantastic. Hey, I'm loving the ESP. Yeah. And thank yeah. you for letting me. Uh, to uh, Stone Crow, I mean, I can't get over the way they sell, sell it in London. So good, so good. But in London, why, why? I want a sparkler. I want their head to be like that. Yeah, I know what you mean. I know no, what you so, mean. No, sorry, we're not filming that way. We're filming. No, no, I didn't want to get we're making ourselves look beautiful. <laughs> but yeah, come in. You can come. Hello. So uh, this is what's lovely about this this festival. Is <laughs> yeah, well, everybody's just getting involved. Everyone's involved, everyone's having a good drink. What's been your drink of the festival so far? I've only had a couple of beers, but I'll have to say, it's only 2.8%, so Marvel can take one. Marvel really? Marvel can take one. 2.8? I'm going to go and have a look. Okay, we'll okay. go and have a look. Thanks for your recommendation. Cheers. Nice to meet you. Let's go and get that, that Marvel beer. Cheers. Right, so I have the Decam Gers. Um, I think it's probably one of the most expensive beers I've bought in my life. See that little barrel down there? Um, the reason why it's standing up is because they had a little bit of a leakage on it. Uh, so they've stood the barrel up. There's a little tap on the end, as you see. But um, this is a the Cam Goes from 2018. £8 for a third. The reason why I went for it was... You've got to ask yourself a question. In life, generally, you're at a beer festival, a really lovely beer festival. And if I wanted to go to Belgium, it would have cost me a few hundred pounds in train fare, air flight fare, another hundred pound for the hotel, and I would have probably bought it for, I don't know, maybe it's the same price in Belgium. So I think in life, you have to take the opportunity to try these really special beers. Because I know camera get these uh, kind of cost price. Um, well maybe not cost price maybe the brewer makes a little bit of money but you know what I'm going with this it's it, it's cheaper at a camera festival than it would be at other festivals um, I think camera are very fair when it comes to selling these like Belgian beers these American beers these Italian beers they get them in for a very good price so I couldn't pass up that opportunity if you like uh, to try this at £8 for a third here we go hazy amber colour aroma it smells like a really lovely girl wow oh crap beer hub Where's Cree? Where, where is everyone? Vasco! Hello! Jump on this, mate. Right, Whoop! Yeah, you dropped down the floor. Yeah, you, you should have borrowed my Jump on that. Oh my god! Oh my god! That is That's so good. Really kind of like acidic and... Whoa! That's a punch in the face, isn't it? My tongue is burning! That is good. Is that, is good? Oh my goodness me. Like, I had that kind of first reaction thing. Now I've maybe giving it away a little bit, but try that. That is proper. That's sour beer. The only supermarket beer is in. Oh, <laughs> um, we, we've been sour. My tonsils. That, that is sour. That, that is, that is sour. Do you like it? Yes. Do you like it? I do, mate. Yeah, oh, I do. That's the experience. That's from experience for me. You should, you should do a video about that. That's the problem. You should do a video. That's good. I know it's expensive, but she's put, just put forty pound of it on the floor. So I, yeah, no, I know, I know. I never mentioned that. I just said that they had a little leak and they oh, turned the sorry. They turned the sorry, barrel sorry. up. No, no, it's fine, it's fine. Um, 
the lady was she was quite embarrassed by it. She hadn't come back to be honest. Um, really unfortunate. You know, in life, things like this happen, don't they? And it's, yeah. it's just plenty unfortunate. It does happen. It's things like this. You, know, you are the last person to probably have that in this So it's good that you're doing a review of it to document that it's happening yeah. and it happened. Because it's it's on the notes. It's, it's in terms. Absolutely. At the Great British Beer Festival, my mecca, my WrestleMania. He's my WrestleMania. Well, my WrestleMania. Yeah. Guys, thank you for joining me. Uh, if you get to see the Decamp Gears 2018, please look. This is great. Literally, the Great British Beer Festival. Try it. Just yeah. try it. Go for it. Yeah. Cheers, guys. Check out, check out Raxco and Desco on their YouTube channel. Thank they're you they're very much. bloody lovely guys. So, last video of the day, I think. Um, unless somebody grabs me and wants to talk to me. Um, I've got some cheesy chips. Cheesy chips at Great British Beer Festival 2022. I've had a wonderful day. I've got a couple of hours to go before I go, to go and get my train. I've met loads of wonderful people, loads of old friends. It's the first time we've had this festival in, what, two or three years, maybe even four years. Uh, it's really wonderful. One more video from the day. One more video. I just had some cheesy chips. I was about to leave and I bumped into Alistair on my way out from Yeasty Boys. How are you doing, Alistair? Good, mate. Really good. You're okay? Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. Um, I'm really pleased I bumped into Alistair because I've just drunk one of the most amazing Helles Lagers I've had in the last year. Um, I was just saying to Alistair now, I was at a brewery in Hamburg last year. Um, I drank some amazing Helles Lager straight from the fermenter. Um, they give me a glass, they say go to the fermenter, there's a tap, open the tap, fresh as you like, you know, Helles Lager. This, this was as good as that Helles Lager I had in Germany. Um, but we got another one. I was that impressed, I was that impressed with that beer that we're going to do another one. This is... Um, What's so this one, Alistair? This is Devil May Care. This is our Belgian Gold Nail that we released actually about 12 months ago. So it's a really interesting one in that we're going to get heaps of big boozy, juicy. I always think of it like jelly babies in a beer with a big, thick, unctuous, great mouthfeel to carry the flavour across. So we're going to wow. have this guy. It's up at 8.5%, which is why we're doing the share a can, because we're responsible drinkers. Yeah, we are, yeah. we are, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I'll, I'll pour it out for us, eh? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, here we are. Here we go. Look at this. Wonderful, 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 wonderful. Have a sniff on that. So, so did we mention the style? Oh, we're going to guess it. We're going to guess the style. Yeah, don't let's, let's guess the style. Looks good. Hazy. Uh, straw colour? Would I call it straw or amber? Yeah, it's kind of maybe just a bug straw, isn't it? Maybe one stick above the but yeah. it's still very pale, for sure. One finger wine, yeah, let's get the aroma. Cheers, cheers, cheers. cheers. It's really zesty, like lime, like limes, yeah, yeah, sure. lemons. I'll tell you what, I actually Belgium had this. Belgian yeast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I actually had this beer in a few months, and it's changed. It's been like the head of it. So I used to get much more, I would call it almost more in, you know, candy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. kind of died down. And I am getting a big, zesty, kind of lime, almost sweet lemon, kind of lemon candy almost. Yeah, yeah, and that kind of Belgian yeast, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, um, let's dive in. Eight yeah, and a half percent. Cheers, everyone. Eight and a half percent. Eight and a half percent. Eight and a half percent. Stone the Crows. Stone the Crows. That drink, was wonderful. Drink, yeah. Wonderful. Really. Do you know what I feel? The first thing I'm getting is the mouthfeel. Mm. It's got a lovely, creamy, rich mouthfeel. Yeah, I literally use the word I'm just listening to, right? It's yeah. good. It's so pretty. It's thick, you know. I don't want to say it's oily. Yeah, yeah. But it coats the palate so well and allows it to get so much more flavour from every mouthfeel. Absolutely. It's not a beer you need to quaff. No. Oh, that is so good. It's got, like you said, candy, like 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 Belgian candy sugar, maybe um, Belgian candy fruits. It's 
citrusy. It's, I'm getting more of that lime and lemon in the aroma. They're much more of a Belgian candied fruit in the flavour. Beautiful. Beautiful. The malt steer in the background of it's kind of carrying it through and I'm getting yeah. such a long flavour from the right? I swallow it and I still taste it. Ten seconds later, yeah. That's great. And that's that's really important for me, I think. It's certainly a Belgian beer. Oh, I don't know, I'm finding it hard to describe just how good this is. I want to, part of me wants to talk about Saison, part of me wants to talk about Belgian Double. You know, there's so many things you could say about this beer. It's not Saison though, is it? Or it's not kind of... Leaning towards a Belgian double, maybe, or a, maybe, maybe a stronger Belgian blonde. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I would consider it, you know, it's strong golden ale, but mm. it's, certainly, it's certainly out there. A lot of the Belgian beers are designed to be drunk in smaller quantities over a longer period of time. Yeah. To me, everything I'm looking for in a good beer is about flavour. I'm wanting balance, and I'm wanting to drink a beer when I have a mouthful. I don't want it to excite me right off the bat and then disappear, right? Yeah. I'm wanting that flavour to look you know, as long as it wants to be this yeah. name is absolutely specific. absolutely I'm going to show it off um, because I'm going to look for this again Dave, Devil May Care Belgian style gold ale I'm not just saying this because I'm standing next to Alistair but these two beers that was tremendous this 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 just complements it it complements the Hellas Lager we've just had magnificently well really good it's like a main and dessert too. yeah yeah, yeah. I'm really pleased you joined me on the season. Yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, it'll be on the channel soon. It's definitely my last video. I'm ready to go home. Boom, cheers! So this is definitely me. Definitely, definitely, definitely me. I'm at the train station. There's no possible way I can drink another beer now. This is London Paddington Station. Uh, this is a train to Swansea. I'm getting on it. I've had a wonderful time. Thank you all so very much for watching. Boom, cheers!